What's up gamers? Welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to report that I have obtained a game key for Palea and was able to play it for a few hours last night. So let me tell you what I think of the game so far. Palea is a cozy, open-world, free-to-play game where humans are returning for the first time in thousands of years. When you arrive in Palea, you're immediately set up with a housing plot and you start meeting all of the villagers and learning all of your skills right away. The mechanics of the game are simple and easy to learn. The story is whimsical and compelling and visually the game is just stunning to look at. You'll have several quests going all at once. There's honestly so much to do right away. There doesn't ever seem to be a dull moment. Now the game is in closed beta right now, which means they are still working out some of the bugs. I encountered some trouble here and there with a bit of lag. My character got stuck a couple of times and I had to exit the game and come back. That could have been due to connectivity on my end, but it's not an issue I have very often, so I'm not sure. I also didn't have a map available during the three plus hours that I played the game and after watching some other players who did have maps, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if I somehow missed the whole map thing. I still definitely have some things to figure out as I play more of the game. So there are optional microtransactions and honestly these are really expensive. I know I did a lot of complaining about Dreamlight Valley and their monetization being ridiculous, which I still stand by, but the Palea outfits you can buy are around the $20 price range. And it's painful because there are so many that I want. I will say that the price point makes sense just because this game is gigantic, it's free to play, and the only content for you to purchase are cosmetic or optional things. As far as I know, all of the game content will be free. So I can forgive the pricing of that stuff a little bit. And unlike Dreamlight Valley, you don't really feel this need to collect everything because you have an emotional attachment to it already. And because you'll get all of your furniture and decorative things in the game without having to spend any real money. Overall, this game feels like a cozy and cute version of World of Warcraft. Which might be a controversial thing to say because I honestly don't know that much about WoW, but it has a very similar visual style to me. I've tried to play WoW a couple of times and it just got so overwhelmed and confused every time. This game gives me that same fantasy RPG feel without having a complex battle system. That being said, I do kind of wish that we had some kind of battling in this game. But I guess that would take away from the cozy farming sim vibe that it currently has. I do think it's interesting that we have hunting in the game. I don't think I've ever played a cozy game that also had hunting in it. But the way it's done in this game is pretty neat. You don't see any blood or deceased animal on the ground. You hit your target with an arrow and it poofs into a little loot bag. The game is pretty fast paced in the sense that you won't be sitting through a lot of long, boring tutorials. But at the same time, I played for a few hours and I'm still working on getting my house built. So there's a lot to do so far and the map is already pretty huge. There will be content updates in the future that are going to expand this world even further. There's just so much to discover in this game and so much more to come. I am really enjoying it so far. The open beta begins on August 10th. I'll leave a link in the description to the website where you can create an account. If you want to see more Palea here on my channel, give the video a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I will see you again real soon. Bye.